Welcome back to Blazers Inside Access. We're sitting down with head coach Justin D of the Blazers volleyball team. Coach, thanks for joining us. Again, just a highlight of my week coming in here on Monday morning, getting <laughs> things ready to go for the week. Well, we appreciate that. Uh, the Blazers volleyball team was in Pineville, Louisiana this week. They were in the midst of ASC play, first ASC road match. Picked up a big 3-2 uh, win over Louisiana College. Uh, Calista Moore led the way. She had 18 kills. That's a single match season high for the Blazers volleyball team. Sydney McEachern had 29 digs. Also a single match season high. Uh, and then Grace Edson led the way. She had 18 assists and then Grace Lockoff had 12. So a good win uh, on the road in the ASC for the Blazers volleyball team. I just want to I just want to hear your thoughts on the uh, on the win. Well, anytime that you can win on the road is great. Uh, when you can win on the road in conference, that's even better. Um, but I, I was very impressed with the way that our girls battled. Um, it, you know, when you go on the road, you have different you have different uh, fans. You have uh, different types of atmospheres and uh, Miss uh, Louisiana College is a little bit different with uh, no air conditioning and they're, they're, they had just had a rainstorm and uh, so we it's kind of like playing on a slip and slide a little bit uh, but I thought our girls played really well I thought that their uh, their facilities manager did a great job of allowing us and uh, putting it in a place where we can finish the match um, but it was uh, it was a great win for us it was really hard fought the girls gave everything they had um, you just kind of see the outliers um, when you look at stats, you know, like we didn't have anybody with 10 kills and all of a sudden there's there's Callie and then uh, we didn't have anybody with 10 digs and then all of a sudden there's Sid with 29 and Callie with 18 uh, kills. It's just, uh, they both of those did a great job. I thought our setters did a remarkable job. Uh, Grace Edson and Grace Lockoff, when you play on a slippery court, when you play in that type of environment, it's really hard with the ball being so wet and the condensation just to be able to get a ball out that's that's not called a double. And they were calling things pretty tight, which was kind of, it was just a, a really hard game for us to, to manage through. And I thought both of our setters did a great job of moving the ball to our attackers. We hit 292, which is like hitting 600 in baseball mm -hmm. um, because you take your kills minus your errors. It's like if you got struck out, you wouldn't s subtract a hit from it. Yeah. But uh, it was a pretty awesome opportunity. And I, I just really enjoyed the way the girls that fought all the way through. We were down there in that third set or in that fifth set and uh, able to finish out and get the W and uh, come on home. Yeah, conference road wins always big. I want to talk about just two people specifically um, that you had, we had mentioned. Obviously, Callie Moore, 18 kills. That's a single match season high for Bellhaven. Just, I just want to talk about her a little bit. We've talked about that she's moved to another position this year, um, a little bit different responsibilities being asked of her. But she really seems to be uh, taking it uh, taking it in stride, and she's really starting to uh, perform well. I think if you just if anybody has a chance to meet Calista Moore, uh, do it. Um, just the person that she is is just pretty amazing. It's in in football, it's like taking your center and asking them to be a quarterback or a wide receiver, and uh, she is just said, coach, whatever I can do for the team. And uh, I think that that's the mentality that our team has, but Callie takes it to another level. Callie is just a woman that um, works hard. She is a perfectionist. She wants to be great. Um, in our match against Letourneau, she passed a 1.83, which is pretty outstanding, is amazing for a six rotation outside hitter. Um, but Callie just as a person is just uh, one of the most remarkable women that I've met. Um, she, she is just a very hard worker. She's super talented in so many different ways, but uh, she's just blessed my life as a coach, as a man, um, as, a, as, a, as a mentor, and uh, she's just got great leadership qualities and just does a great job. And then the other person we want to talk about is Sydney McEachern. We talked about uh, last week a little bit just how her volleyball IQ is so high and she's really taken on a leadership role this year. Um, but more specifically as a libero, uh, she's always in the right position and that was evident uh, this past weekend um, with 29 digs against Louisiana College. Just kind of talk us through that. I mean, that's, it's, it sounds almost like a little bit of a grind to, to always be in the right spot to, to rack up those kind of numbers. Louisiana College has done a great job um, with getting attackers. Their their outside attacker number ten was just she was just hammering the ball anywhere they would just set her and they would she would just hammer the ball and Sid just got to a point where she was able to read everything. I mean, twenty nine digs is just I mean even yeah it's a five set match but we're talking about six digs per set. Last year she led the conference with I think four point four or four point five digs per set. She averaged six digs per set in this match. So Sydney's just I mean not only what God's doing in her, in her life personally, but what God's doing in her life as a leader on the court and how she 
how she conducts herself, how she uh, cheers on her teammates, uh, her reading ability, all the things that she does within the game. And then outside off the court is just amazing too. So Sydney has just become, um, honestly, just become a blue chip athlete. She is just a, similar to her brother. Her brother is a really great football player. I'm sure you'll talk with Coach McCorkle later about him. But Sydney has just been an amazing addition for us. Um, she has been a, a really a solid, she leads the back row. She just does everything that we need her to do. And she just, she leads by example. And um, man, I just, I feel so great about just her in the back row, the way she's able to read the attackers, be in the right position and not just be in the right position. She puts a, a ball, a great ball up to her setters so that we can run our offense. And that's a great, great deal to do. Yep. So definitely a big win for Bellhaven. Coach, uh, we're in the midst of ASC play, a bit of a tough stretch coming up. I just want to hear your thoughts, kind of walk us through um, this next stretch of, of ASC play and just uh, what kind of mentality your team has to have. Well, I think that this weekend's a big weekend for us. We've got our ASC crossover. We play some people in the West, and this year it's a little bit different with uh, how we qualify for the conference tournament, which is our first, our first year uh, available to qualify for the comments tournament, but this year's a little bit different. Only the top two teams in the East and the top two teams in the West are able to go, and then there are two at-large bids. And so our matches against the conference, the other side of the conference, are just so huge for us. We've got to play well there to, to get that at-large bid, or we have to beat ETBU, Letourneau, Louisiana College, and UT Dallas. So um, I think the conference play is really heating up right now. We have a non-conference match tomorrow night against MUW over in Columbus. Uh, so that's going to be a great uh, match for us. Uh, we have one of our seniors, Vicki Vo, is from Starkville area. So it's going to be kind of a coming home for her. So I'm excited about that for her to play in front of her home crowd. Uh, but then going in and playing Howard Payne, playing against a nationally ranked uh, Mary Harden Baylor, who went to the Elite Eight last year, um, and then playing against a Concordia team that is just on fire. They've beaten some nationally ranked teams. Um, it's going to be a really, really tough week for us. Four matches, all of them on the road. Um, we're prepared for it, but uh, again, it's going to be it's going to be great. Hopefully, we'll have Elena Smith back with us. Uh, she's coming off injury. Uh, we're crossing our fingers that she gets the thumbs up from our uh, athletic training staff. And uh, that will be a great addition for us on the offensive end, on the defensive end, on, along that front line. Well, you heard it here. The Blazers looking to build as they continue ASC play. Big weekend ahead for Bellhaven Volleyball. We've been joined by head coach Cust Justin D. Uh, thank you for joining us, Coach. Appreciate it, Kenneth. Welcome back to Blazers Inside Access. I want to thank all the coaches who took the time to sit down with us today and talk a little bit of sports. I wanted to give a shout out to the Seaspire Athlete of the Week, Lex Rogers of the Bellhaven men's soccer team. He picked up the award after his 90th minute winner against Pensacola Christian a couple of weeks ago. I want to thank real quick the Bellhaven Film Department and Richard Negron for helping produce uh, this episode of Blazers Inside Access. As we look ahead at the Blazers' schedule, the volleyball team will be in action tomorrow. They're in Columbus, Mississippi to take on Mississippi University for women in a non-conference match. Then they'll head out west to Texas, Marshall, Texas, where they'll participate in the ASC crossover four matches across this weekend for the Blazers' volleyball team. Both soccer teams will be in action this week. First, they're taking on McMurray University in Abilene. That's on Thursday, both men and women's soccer. And then Saturday, they'll take on Hardin-Simmons. Uh, a couple of ASC matches on the road for both soccer teams. The week will be capped off here with a home uh, home game, though, for the Bellhaven uh, football team as they host McMurray University. 1 p.m. kickoff. They're looking to pick up a conference win. Once again, this has been Blazers Inside Access. I'm Kenneth Nash. Thanks for joining. <laughs>